tonight after suffering an unbelievable injury. Because of a freak accident, a large fork ended up in the dog's head. It's something you have to see to believe, but what could have been a deadly situation has a happy ending. Dave Spencer has the story of this lucky dog, but first, we do want to warn you, some viewers may find some of this video disturbing. It's all smiles now for the owners of a 12-week-old chihuahua named Smokey. Something else, man. But the first time Dr. Keaton Smith saw Huey Wagers and his dog... He kind of ran in um, in a panic, which I can understand why. It was a different story. It's amazing, really. I've never seen anything like it. Two days before Smokey was brought to the animal hospital, the dog was at home in Manchester getting ready to eat. She had a, a fork in her hand. It had a plastic like handle on it. And she was shooting that big dog away. It just kind of came out of the handle and went flying. And the poor dog just... I don't know how it was right in the way. The shock of what happened sent Smokey running into the woods. That thing went right through his head, right through his brain and everything. Smokey wouldn't be seen for two days, finally returning home. I guess he got hungry or something. Smokey was then brought to Dr. Smith's office. Not showing any signs of pain or discomfort. Penetrating through the skull. Then prepped for surgery. 30 seconds. I just went. Considering the circumstances. Pushed its way through. And because it was such a tight fit, it just kind of sealed everything off. Smokey was able to go home today. He's eating, he's up, he's mobile, he's happy, he's not in pain. Just hours after having a fork. Meat fork, you know, something you'd toss a salad with or cook on your grill with. Removed from his brain, proving it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. In London, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. That is absolutely incredible. By the way, Dr. Smith says Smokey must be closely monitored for the next six weeks to see if any problems develop, but he's optimistic, though, for a full recovery.